Welcome back and good evening everyone. Well, after a hot and generally dry weekend here in the Brazos Valley, we've seen some showers work in today, but before the rain got to us, it was still hot. High today again at 92 degrees. That's still a little below the average high. Our morning low was 77, but it was pretty hot and humid. Easterwood did pick up some rainfall, but the report has gotten a little garbled. We'll try to update that for you coming up at 10 o'clock. Uh, as you can see on the radar, there has not been a complete coverage of showers and thunderstorms. An outflow moving in ahead of a weak cold front over North Texas has produced these showers and thunderstorms. They're a little bit more numerous off to our west and southwest, especially down around the LaGrange area right now. One thunderstorm moving southeast and there are more thunderstorms up approaching Waco and Temple. So some of that activity could make it into the Brazos Valley later on this evening. Not out of the woods yet for rain for today, but looks like chances will drop off a little bit behind the front tomorrow. Currently it's 82 in Caldwell and Brenham and Madisonville, 85 in Hearn, 86 in Bryan College Station, and 81 in Navasota. And as you saw, the winds are out of the north and northeast, fairly light right now, uh, but the air is still very humid at 65% uh, relative humidity, 2.73, and right now the temperature is 86 degrees. However, slightly drier air will be filtering in behind that front as it pushes on toward the coast, and that may lead to a, a little bit lower humidity tomorrow. Not quite sure whether it'll be that noticeable, but we'll take anything we can get this time of year. Now this front is moving slowly southward as I mentioned and temperatures behind it are generally in the 80s over the central and northern plains. But check out the southwest and the Rockies. Not just 103 in Phoenix but all the way up to Billings, Montana. 106 right now. An excessive heat warning in effect for most of Montana right now. And the reason for that high, a big mountain of hot air sitting over the northern Rockies and that is this high pressure in the upper levels. That's also caused the jet stream to dive southward bringing that front into our area. As the front sags to the south tomorrow, slightly drier air filters in, but as the front breaks up on Wednesday, moisture returns and we'll see a chance for showers and thunderstorms continuing on Wednesday and Thursday. But coming up Friday, high pressure from the east, from the Atlantic builds toward Texas and this high looks like it's going to strengthen over us next weekend giving us much more typical mid to late July weather. For tomorrow, though, we, if we do get enough shower activity, it may hold a high temperature in the upper 80s. The thing I'm looking forward to is the possibility of a little lower humidity. Enjoy it quickly because it'll get back to hot and humid later in the week with a chance of showers and thunderstorms Wednesday and Thursday. And then Friday and Saturday, rain chances drop off to near zero. Over the weekend, mostly sunny with highs in the mid-90s and heat index values probably up around 105 or so by the weekend.